Okay, quick uh, Ember update. We haven't done this in a while because our whole team has been focused. Where should I look? I'm looking at you? Looking there? Looking there? I'm looking there. Uh, our whole team has been focused on building embers. We have not been able to build them as fast as we hoped. And also people have been ordering a lot of them because people like them. So we are further behind than we thought we would be. But I want to do a quick update. We have some important news. The, we just launched the app, the first version of the app. It's in the test flight store. You can get there from our website, grab it. I'm gonna connect really quick to this guy. Maybe I'll get a chair for this part. Plus it'll make me look like a little kid at a big table. <laughs> anyway, we have an, a new app for Ember. It's great. I have it on this iPad mini right now to demo. You can do all kinds of camera settings you want, your resolution, your frames per second, your shutter speed or your shutter angle, your white balance, your exposure, your ISO, I guess is what the cool kids call it these days. Um, and then you can get shoop, into playback, which is cool. You can grab clips. You can play back the clip. You can scrub through the timeline. This is a very boring clip, which I have not chosen well. Let's do this one. So this is of an airplane prop starting up, a turbine engine starting up. You can scrub through. It's pretty cool because it's synced up with the camera. It's a kind of a fun feature. Let's say there's, let me get a better one for an example, but let's say this one's fun. This is Craig's new little puppy, but let's say there's three moments of this that I really love. So I can say, oh, I really love this part. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, I really love this part, right? When the little doggy grabs the thing, grab that. Oh, I really love this part where the camera gets close. I'm gonna grab that, add them all to queue, export queue, set my, what I wanna have here. I want a lower resolution. I want H.264 and I want 24 FPS. And I'm gonna send these all to my mom to say, look at this cool camera that me and my friends built. I think you'll really like it. P.S. isn't this dog cute, export all, send them to her, super fun. Um, Let's see, what else can you do? Eventually in the future, we'll have live um, viewfinder support working, but we haven't been able to get that to the performance level that we were, are happy with. So we wanted to release just this one where you can control the settings, at least remotely. Um, you can, I can start, stop, record. Um, I can change color, HLG beta or Rec. 709. Um, that's all we have for right, for right now. You can go in and play with various settings, set your camera ID, real number, uh, update your Wi-Fi settings and password. It's pretty cool. So anyway, I think this for installations where the camera's hard to get to, or if you just <clears throat> mainly, the thing I use it most, just having the app on my phone, get a cool shot, wanna share it with the camera team here at Freefly. Um, I, use, I use that quite a bit. Uh, so the next thing we should go over is just the, we, this is new since the last time I did a quick update video, but now there's playback on the camera. And so you can transition to playback just in the menu and there's some cool things. So you can play and then you use our little scrolling wheel. You can make it go faster. You can make it go slower. And then the one I really love is you can have direct frame control with the encoder wheel. So we have a, we have a absolute magnetic encoder built into this wheel on Ember with no detents or anything. So it's perfectly smooth. And I love this because you can kind of find the peak action of the shot. You can scroll through it super quick, but then also if you want to be really precise to look at things carefully and inspect them, you can, which is super cool. So I think this camera has the fastest on-screen camera UX UI ever implemented, which I really like. Um, you can select the, you know, you can go in and select the clip. It's also very fast, loads the clip very fast. Jump in there, look at every clip, go in and adjust by frame. It's always funny because it's so brutal with Ember because you miss focus for like a second in real time and you have to relive it in the world's slowest thing. You're like, God, this guy's the worst at focusing. What is going on? You're not that bad, it's just really slow. Um, so that's playback, that's super cool. Uh, Kind of operational update, we should be out of back order, I anticipate by the end of July. It's been a bit of a juggle to keep enough parts coming in, build all the parts into reliable cameras, get just keep things moving the whole time. But my current estimation is by end of July, there will be embers in stock and ready to ship same day, which will be exciting. 
um, unless we get massive, massive influx of new orders and new customers, which is possible, but we will try our best to get in stock by end of July. <clears throat> um, so on the news front, we just kind of logistics to go over. The first batch of green embers, we are nearing the end of green ember parts. Uh, so most likely, we're still kind of finalizing this, but most likely we're going to go to a clear silver anodize, which is how this part is, um, for the next camera. So it'll be all, all silver. Uh, a couple people on the team want a black accent here, black accent, accent there. We're still arguing about that. But, so that'll be the next one. So if you really love green, uh, you kind of have like one more month to get that order in-ish, and then we'll probably switch over to a clear anodize uh, finish. Um, let's see, there'll be new firmware updates for camera and new firmware updates for app that'll just kind of come out constantly. So the app is just available on test flight. We'll release the stable version of the app next and should have some new features, um, kind of just flowing constantly that we're going to develop a bunch of new camera firmware, uh, updates as well. Um, we're constantly tweaking and tuning, make it, trying to make the image better, trying to make our calibration better. Um, hopefully this, the image just gets better and better and better and faster and faster and faster over time. Um, we, I don't have it in here, but Ember Carbon just went on its first adventure. Um, so that's paired with the Fuji 20 to 120. It sounds like we had a little bit of first run snafus on that, but we'll sort those out internally and get that ready for prime time. Cool thing there is you can use Movi Controller on the latest, we haven't released it yet, but on the latest internal firmware, you can use Movi Controller to control all the carbon setting or all the Ember settings remotely, which is really nice. So you have full camera control. Um, paired with the 20 to 120 lens, which is a lethal combo. Um, and then the only other news I wanted to hit was uh, Ansel cut together customer shots, our shots from the first six months of Ember. And it's awesome. It's on YouTube. We'll link to it or maybe just put it at the end of this video. Um, it's kind of like the thing that I send when people are like, hey, what are you working on? This is what I send them to show what Ember is capable of. So super cool. And... This is a gray color that we considered doing. We're having a little bit of trouble getting the colors to match, but it's pretty nice. A lot of people really like it, but I'm a little worried about just the logistics of it. So gray or silver, those are the ideas that we're kicking around right now. One, two, uh, what else should we talk about, Henry? What have you caught recently? What, what's going on with your catch and release program? Uh, this last cut, very proud. He catch, catch and release fish, catch and release customer support tickets. Me, I what about you, Ansel? What's going on? Uh, just working on How's your personal life going? How's is your are things restful and focused at home? Very good. <laughs> Super relaxing. Uh, that's it for Ember updates. Thank you all. Um, please keep sharing footage that you're shooting with Ember. If you have feature requests, stuff that you'd like us to develop, uh, please let me know. We have a bunch of stuff we're working on that I probably shouldn't talk about because I'll just end up getting us in trouble right now. But Lots of cool stuff. Uh, we're going to keep pushing the limits on how fast and how good this thing can be. And that's it. Also, I'm like a kid at his dad's desk today because this is a desk that you're supposed to stand at and I'm sitting at it, which is very nice. It's like, I feel just like a little, I feel like I can be a little more silly than normal because I'm, oh, we got, you got a new monitor, Ansel. Yeah. Port keys. Port keys. I wonder what kind of group came up with the name Port Keys. How did they come up with that as the name for their company? <laughs> oh, yes. Let's put this, this a, Please, please, all of you, I implore you, please, God, do not use the Bebop batteries. Those batteries are killing cameras at a rate that has never been seen before. That, I don't even remember what they call it, the, the switchable the twist detap thing that they have. I haven't gotten one in my hands to look at, but I'm assuming that people are plugging, are able to plug the detap in backwards. I will do an update on this when I get the Bebop battery, but please, I implore you, do not use Bebop batteries with Ember unless you want it to magically die in a way that you'll never understand. I don't know what's going on. We'll investigate further, but we have, I don't know, we've had five Embers or something that have been killed by users, mostly rental houses. Every single one of them using a Bebop battery. So do with that info what you will. I don't know. It's like every time you drove in a Ford car, you died. You wouldn't drive in Ford cars anymore. That's my stance. Bye-bye.